Hello friends, in today's tutorial we would be learning how to create and animate curved 3D roadmap as well as timeline in PowerPoint presentations. Friends, the basic fundamentals are the same for different versions of PowerPoint be it 2007, 2010, 2013, 2016 or 2019 etc. both for Windows as well as for Mac. And with each new version there are new and better features for the user's benefit. So first of all let us see some examples of what we would be learning today. Friends this is the curved 3D roadmap as well as timeline which we would be learning today. In this slide, we are showing the sales performance of a particular company over a period of three years. Now, we can also change the background as per our liking, as we can see in the next slide. Like this. Here, the rest of the elements of the slide are the same, but we have just changed the background color. So friends, let us proceed ahead and learn how we can make such beautiful 3D roadmaps as well as timeline in PowerPoint presentations. So here we are friends. Now let me insert a new blank slide. And the first thing which I need to do is that I need to insert a particular shape. For this example, let me insert this particular shape that is a curve. I would start the curve from this point and then I would take the first curve at this point. I'll click here and you can see that a curve has been made and then let me take the curve to this point and then again click with the mouse like this and then let me make the third curve somewhere here and then let me finish off this curve. Now I will again click the mouse up till this point and then let me press the escape button so that I complete this curve. Now let me just reduce the size of the slide for better understanding and then let me select this curve area and do right click and come over to format shape options. Let me first of all change the color of this line to black color and then you can see here the width of this line is two points. And for the purpose of this example, let me increase the width of this line to, let us say, 120 points. So let me just select all of this and write here 120, like this. And now I just need to come over here to the fill option and I need to make sure that this needs to be no fill, like this. And then I need to select this particular curve and make a copy of this by doing Ctrl C and Ctrl V and then for better understanding let me bring this second curve on top and now I need to make some changes in the shape of this curve. Coming back here let the width of this curve be 20 points and then let me come over here to the dash type and make the dash as square dot for the purpose of this example. And then let me make the color as white color for this particular curve and then let me again come over here to the fill option and make sure that it is no fill. And after that I need to select both of them by doing Ctrl A and coming over here to the arrange button and then align both of them in the center as well as in the middle like this. And now let me again select both of them by doing Ctrl plus A and then group both of them so that now this becomes one unit. And after that I need to come over here to this option of 3D rotation. In order that my road becomes more beautiful I need to do some changes in the Y direction. So let me rotate this particular curve in the y direction like this and you can see here that we have been able to create a beautiful 3d road in the powerpoint slide 
Now, let me just extend the road on both the sides by a little bit like this. And in order that the slide becomes more beautiful, let me add a glow to this road. So for that, let me come over here to the glow option and select this preset option and select a particular glow like this. Now, I can also increase the size of this glow like this. Let me make the size as 70 points for the purpose of this example. Now, let me close this format shape box and let me bring this road towards the bottom portion of the slide like this. And now we need to add a timeline which shows the sales figures of the company over a period of time. So for that, let me first of all come over here to the shapes option and insert a rectangle like this and then let me make some changes to the shape of this rectangle let me change the height of this rectangle to let us say 3 centimeters and the width to be 0.3 centimeters like this the shape fill needs to be black color and the shape outline also needs to be black color like this and then let me bring this rectangle over here. Now the next step is that I need to add an oval to the slide like this and as far as the size of this oval is concerned let me make it as 4 by 4 centimeters. Let me change the shape fill color to let us say yellow color and the shape outline to be black color and then let me bring this oval or circle somewhere here so that it is approximately over this rectangle and in the center. Now the next step is that I need to insert a text box here and for this example let me write a figure of 100 million dollars and then let me do some formatting for this text. Let me change the size of this text to let us say 32 points and let me center this text and just rearrange this text box like this. Now first of all let me make a copy of this text box by doing Ctrl C and Ctrl V and let me bring this second text box here. Now this text box is going to go inside this circle like this and then this text box is going to come over the top and instead of 100 million dollars let me write here the first year so 100 million dollars is the sales figure for the company for the first year now let me just make some formatting for this text as well as the text box let me select all of the text and change the color to yellow and as far as the text box is concerned, let me make a solid fill for this text box to be black color like this. And then let me add a glow to this text box like this. And since the color of this oval is yellow, so let me make the color of this glow also to be yellow color like this. And then let me just move this text box a little bit down. Now I need to press the control key and select this particular text box, then the circle, then this inner text box as well as this rectangle and then come over here to the arrange button and align all of these elements in the center like this and then I need to do right click and group all of these so that it becomes one element and after that I need to again do right click and send this particular element to back. So friends, we have added the sales figure of the company for the first year. Now let us add the sales figure for the second as well as third year. For that, let me just select this particular group and make a copy by doing Ctrl C and Ctrl V. And then let me bring this particular second group all the way here like this. 
and then I need to do some rearrangement of this upper text box. Let me bring it a little bit down like this and here in place of the first year I need to write second year. I can do some changes in the size of this text box so that it becomes more beautiful and then here for the second year I can write the sales figure as 150 million dollars and then let me just select this particular circle and make the color as green color and for this particular upper text box also let me make the change in the glow option to be green color so that our slide becomes more beautiful and similarly let me select this particular group and then make a copy of this by doing control C and control B and then let me bring this group all the way here like this and then let me move this topmost text box a little bit higher and then in place of the second year I can write third year and in place of the sales figure of 150 million dollars I can write 200 million dollars well the sales figures are looking good for the first year the company had a sales of 100 million dollars which grew to 150 million dollars in the second year and then the sales again grew to 200 million dollars in the third year now let me change the color of this particular circle to let us say orange color and similarly let me change the glow also of this upper text box to orange color so that our slide becomes more beautiful and then let me select all of these three groups come over here to the range option and align all of them by selecting this option that is distribute horizontally like this and then while selecting all of them let me do right click and send all of them towards the back like this so friends we have completed the first step in which we have made a 3d road as well as we have made a timeline which depicts the sales figures of a company over three years now the next step is to add animations to all these elements so for that let me come over here and select this 3d road element and then come over here to the animations pane and select a particular animation of a y pin animation which i can find here now the default direction of this animation is from bottom towards top which we need to change so let me just select this particular animation and come over here to the effects options i need this effect option from left side like this and then let me change the duration of this animation to 9 seconds for the purpose of this example and it should be starting on click which is okay now let me select this particular group and then i need to add a particular animation of a float in animation which i can find here now let us come over here to the animations pane and select this particular animation now this should be starting with previous the duration is one second which is okay and let us come over here to the timings option and you can see here there is an option for delay now this particular animation should be starting with a delay of let us say 2.5 seconds now let me select this particular group once again come over here to the animations painter so that i can copy this whole animation and then apply it to this particular group and then let me select this group this should also be starting with previous that is okay the duration of this animation should be one second that is also okay but let us increase the delay of this particular animation to let us say 4.5 seconds and similarly let me select this group come over here to the animations painter and apply the same animation to the third group and then let me select this third group this group also should be starting with previous with the duration of one second that is okay and let us increase the delay of this particular animation to 6.5 seconds 
Now, let us play this entire animation to see what we have created. So you can see here, this is the particular 3D roadmap which is being animated along with the various timelines for the sales figures. So now, let me save this presentation by doing Ctrl plus S and then let us see the slideshow from the current slide. So here we are friends, now let me press the enter button and you can see here that we have been able to create a beautiful curved 3D roadmap and we have also been able to add a timeline which shows the sales figures of a company over a period of 3 years. Now let me press the escape button and come back. So we are back in the PowerPoint slide. Now this particular slide has a background of white color. We can change the background as per our requirements. So for that, let me first of all do right click on the slide and select duplicate slide. And then let me just right click here also and format the background. For the purpose of this example, let me come over here to the picture or texture fill and I can insert any kind of a texture as per my requirements. So let me come over here and select this particular texture and then let me just close this and let us see the slideshow one more time from the current slide. So here we are friends and as you can see here that we have been able to again create a beautiful looking PowerPoint slide. So friends, in today's video, we have been able to learn how to create and animate curved 3D roadmap and timelines in PowerPoint presentations. Thank you so much for watching this video. In case you have any questions, comments or suggestions, then please mention them in the comments box below. And do subscribe to our channel so that you can have the latest updates regarding all of our videos. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and I will be uploading a new video soon. Friends, in order to watch all my latest videos, do subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button and do click this bell icon to get notifications whenever I publish a new video.